So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about Manchester City again. And we're going to talk about their chairman, uh, Khaldun Al-Mubarak, having the most elite mindset of any chairman in the Premier League. Hence why they keep winning. Uh, I've watched the interview. You can watch that on uh, Manchester City's official YouTube channel. A uh, 20-minute interview uh, gives an insight on, um, on them as a club, him as a person, um, and the mindset of that football club to keep striving for better and to wanting to keep achieving. Um, I've took some bullet points, so uh, bear with me. We'll go through them in a second. Make sure you are smashing the like button, people. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like I said, we're well over 13K now. I want this on 25K by the start of the season. By the time we play Manchester City in the Community Shield on the 6th of August, I want this channel on 25K. Share it far and wide. Make sure you are... Um, Leaving your comments down below as well. I do appreciate that. And any super chats are always appreciated. So thank you very much. But uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, there's quite a lot to go through to this, um, through on this. The winning mentality helps us to be consistently good, he said. Uh, we play to win. We are building a legacy for the club in the new modern era, the modern legacy. You have to win the Premier League, and that is always a foundation for success. He was then saying, I'm speaking to you now the day after the final. It was recorded the day after. It's obviously just been released last night or today, I think. Today. It was actually today. Um, but he said, um, but I'm already thinking of next season. Pep um, Ferran Shiki. I'm ne I can never pronounce that geezer's name. And I live in Spain. I should be able to pronounce his name. Uh, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> Ber Bergens. Bergens. I don't know. You know who I mean. And myself looked at each other and the thoughts that were in our minds at that time were well done. We've done the treble. We've done the, we've done the, um, the free peat. But now we're going to go and have to do it all over again. And this is the thing with this football club, right? There's plenty more to come. I just want to break this down. He's sitting there, cool as a cucumber, suited and booted. He speaks extremely well, this guy as well. And... Um, you can actually see that he's not just giving you lip service. He's not just giving you PR. He's not just giving you chat for the sake of giving you chat. He's actually believing everything he's saying, which is why after the last, what, 10 years of pure domination, pretty much, and it has been, let's be real, the amount of trophies they've won in 10 years, Man City, has been ridiculous. Obviously, topping it off with a, an unbelievable treble by beating Inter Milan in the final the other week. But... The, the mentality of that football club is we have to win. And to win, we have to win the Premier League and we have to consistently win the Premier League whilst consistently trying to win other cups. And to top it all off, yes, we've done the holy grail, we've done the treble. And he also says, but we can get better. And this is what I like about Man City. Yeah, and I love people in this comment section going, go and support Man City then. I'm a football fan. Yeah, I like good football. Man City play the best football in the league. Man City have also got the best mentality in the league as a football club. They get it. It's a sport. You compete to see who's the best. Yeah, last night I watched Spain lift the um, the Nations League, the trophy. Above it, it says winners. Nations League 2022-23. By the way, Man City had two players in that that won it as well. Rodri and Laporte. Uh, albeit Laporte did miss his penalty. Um, not sure why he was taking one in the first place, but he still ended up winning. And um, Rodri got player of the tournament. So there you go. Again, elite mentality, you know. But the fact that it says winners on it, that is the aim of elite sport. That is the predefined metric of sport. You are lifting a trophy. Your armpits are in the air, yeah, and you're holding a trophy. That is already set in stone. We don't need a relevant waffle about progress and phases and stepping stones and you know, sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards and PR and all the other jargon and rubbish and BS in between. You've either won and you're holding the trophy or you've lost. It is pretty straightforward. And the quicker more football clubs and their fans get on board with this, you've won, you've got a trophy, you've lost, you haven't got a trophy, rather than dressing it up as some sort of epic success when you're not holding a trophy, the quicker we'll have a more competitive league. Because there is only one team that's going to win the league again next season, Manchester City. Why? Because they're already planning for next season. They already know what they want to do. They know how they're going to get there and they will get there. And there's nothing to tell me or to suggest to me that that football club is going to be stopping with that mentality anytime soon. Yeah, the fact that 
they're already saying, right, now we've won the treble, we've done three in a row, but now we have to get better. Yeah, meanwhile, Tottenham, Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, their, their, their CEOs are coming out chatting absolute rubbish. Yeah, their, their hierarchy are chatting absolute rub rubbish, making out progress, progress, you know, making out that not winning the, the league and finishing second is success. The vice chairman of Arsenal has come out and said, we've had a fantastic season. Not quite sure what that's about. Fair enough, Man United won a League Cup. It's Man United. Yeah, fair enough, cool. You've, you've got that trophy, put that in your cabinet with the others. That's fine. But you should be striving to be better. And all I see at Man United is, oh, well, they can't sign anyone until they know what the takeover situation is. Absolute rubbish. That is absolute rubbish. And that is a tool, yeah, that is something they can hide behind for having a poor transfer window. Yes, I know it's only just opened. But again, where's the statement of intent? I've just seen a minute ago Fabrizio tweeting out that Marcus Rashford's getting a new deal. For what? Why are you getting a new deal? They're not, they ain't got it. Yeah, they ain't got it. And when you go when you go through the rest of this interview, it is mad. Go and watch it. For anyone who hasn't watched it, it's on Man City's web um, YouTube channel. He then said, um, Haaland was telling me the day after we signed him, or the day that we signed him, um, that I know why you've signed me, Mr. Chairman. You've signed me to win the Champions League. And don't worry, we will win the Champions League. That is a level of confidence. Yeah, people say it's arrogance, but it's not. It's belief in your own ability. It's an elite mentality. And again, with Erling Haaland, we've seen him asking on pitch side, asking one of the Arsenal greatest players of all time. Some say he is the greatest. It's debatable for me, Burkamp all the way, but Thierry Henry is definitely in that conversation. And for Erling Haaland to be standing there after bagging 50-odd goals this season and to be asking the king of Arsenal, what can I do to get better? What one tip, one bit of advice could you give me to make me be better? Meanwhile, Marcus Rashford's out here doing up PR, writing books and doing book signings. Arsenal players are all having a jolly up, laughing and joking. Yeah, uh, it, it's a mess. It is an absolute mess. You've got every single time a player speaks, I'll just think, oh, why? Why? Why have you opened your mouth again, Rashford? Why have you opened your mouth again, Harry Kane? Why have you opened your mouth again, Martin Odegaard? Why do they keep doing it? I know they're contracted to it. I get it. But I'd rather they just say nothing. Just say nothing. Just win and then start, start talking. You know, the fact that Erling Haaland is so young and has got that mentality. You've got Julian Alvarez. He's already, he's already completed football. <laughs> the case has won a World Cup, Champions League, a Premier League and an FA Cup in one year. Uh, you can retire. You, you've, you've won four trophies. You've won two of the biggest prizes in world football, the World Cup and Champions League. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, the mindset is just different. Erlin Haaland also said, and Khaldun said this as well. Khaldun Al-Mabarak said this. He said, um, after Erlin Haaland scored five goals in one game, he said to me, um, after I said, well done on your five goals, he said to me, yeah, but I should have scored seven or eight. Yeah, I was. he was upset with the missed chances. Elites, elites. Um, he said, yes, we've done a treble, but we can always get better. Um, he was then asked about the um, the views on his, his views on the charges, which he said that can't really say much about it, but I'll have blunt views on it when that's done and when it's over. He then went on to say that the City Group is valued at over six billion, which is crazy. Uh, we're producing some of the best players in the academy, um, some of the best first team players, some of the best coaches, scouts, and some of the best executives in the world. All the other best clubs in the world. Sorry, all the other top clubs in the world are trying to poach all of our staff in executive positions, scouting positions, coaching positions and playing staff all the way down to academy level. He said that is a credit to what we're doing. We're a well-run club from top to bottom and they are the best run club in English football. I don't care what anyone says. People bang on about Brighton and Brentford and all these other clubs. No, 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 no. This is a well-run club that is also a successful club. Yeah, the aim of sport is to win. It's not just play pretty patterns and not win anything. I've seen my club do that for two decades and not win a league. You know, just win an FA Cup here and there, which is great, but I want more than that. But anyway, um, he said, we are the number one football brand in the world. These are the facts. People believe that we have spent the most money, but when you actually look at the figures and the facts of net spend with our player sales, yeah, for the last one year, three years, five years, or even 10 years, yeah, it is not the case. People don't deal with facts. They just want to talk and talk. He then said, 
Um, we don't have the biggest squad, but again, people don't look at the facts. And this is true, right? He also signed off with, we have much more to achieve. And this is true. Man City do not have a massive squad. They just have a group of players that are extremely talented, yeah, but they haven't got two players for every position that are elite. They haven't. They just haven't. That's just the reality of it. But what they have got is if Grealish ain't doing it, Foden's coming in. Yeah, and if um, Bernardo's not doing it, Mares is coming in. Kevin De Bruyne ain't doing it, they'll stick Foden in midfield. Yeah, or they'll stick Alvarez in midfield. You know, and this is what they've got. They've got a group of players that are very talented. Yeah, but when you actually deep it, their squad is not as big as people make it out to be. They've got the first 11, which is cool. Yeah, but then they've probably got five players after that that are of a really high standard. Yeah, I mean, Riyad Mahrez is one of my favourite players of all time. And I've seen a lot of the greatest footballers ever. He's in the conversation for me. That guy is such a good footballer, man. Technical level one billion. First touch, insane. Left foot, right foot, free kicks. Yeah, clutch moments, big games. Yeah, the guy is just a top draw footballer. Couldn't even get a game in the Champions League final. Didn't get a game in the Champions League semi. Then comes in for the FA Cup semi, bags that trick. And that is the difference. And the reason that that is the case at Manchester City and not the case at other football clubs, who probably have bigger squads, by the way. Man United have got a big squad. Yeah, Man United have got a big squad. You know, the reason that's not the case at these other clubs is the mentality. They're all just happy. Look, I'll give you an example. Man United. Man United get battered 7-0 by Liverpool. The next game, every single one of that starting eleven started again. Why? They shouldn't have. Yeah, there should have been accountability at that football club and players should have been, right, you're not playing for this club again or you're not in the squad for the next game. Yeah, instead, they then play against Sevilla, same starting eleven. They go 2-0 up, draw 2-2. They then go away to Sevilla and lose heavily 3-0. Biggest defeat in Europe for... I think it is their biggest defeat in Europe. Um, definitely their biggest in the in recent era, for sure. No accountability. Same at Arsenal. No accountability. You know, like I said the other week, when Real Madrid lost to Man City, you've, you've got Florentino Perez coming out saying, that's disgusting, that's disgraceful. I didn't even speak to the players or the manager. Yeah, we need to rectify this now. That can never happen again for Real Madrid. Since then, Benzema has gone. Cool, that was his choice. They've got rid of Asensio. They've got rid of other players along the way. They've made signings, Jude Bellingham. They've signed Hosselu today. People can laugh and say, oh, but he was relegated. Yeah, he's also won a league title. He's also won a league title. So he has actually won La Liga before. Yeah, and he's not going to be their last signing, despite what Perez says. <laughs> Perez is a gangster. I love him. But again, another football club that is won a league. Meanwhile, Arsenal, after a heavy, heavy defeat against Man City, tweeted out, heads up, onto the next. No accountability. <laughs> Brush it on the, under the carpet. We go again. Yeah, and there should be accountability in football clubs. And this is why Man City are the best at what they do. They get the best people in the best positions, first and foremost. They're all aligned on the same page mentally, and they're all there to win. And if they don't win, it's like a funeral. And that is what happens at Real Madrid. The handkerchiefs are out. I remember they lost to FC Sheriff Real Madrid. Yeah, the fans were booing, they were throwing coins, right? They were kicking off, they were jeering. Yeah, they lost 2 1 in the group stage to FC Sheriff. It was a funeral. Their fans were going nuts. Guess what? They ended up winning the Champions League that year. Not the season gone, season before. Yeah, Accountability is key in football. And unfortunately, only one club in England has this accountability. And that is Manchester City, which is why they will continue to keep dominating. And until the rest of the clubs and their fan, fans um, get their standards off the floor, it's not about competing. You don't get a trophy for, comp for competing. You get a trophy for winning and completing the aim of the sport. But what do I know? Uh, let me know your thoughts on all of that, people. Leave it in the comment section down below. Um, smash the likes up. Share the comments around, uh, content around. Um, sub to the channel and get your super chats in as well. That would be fantastic. And I'll be back again later with another upload later tonight. What time is it now? Quarter to one UK. So 8 o'clock tonight. 8, 8 p.m. tonight, UK time. I'll have another video out on here. I will have free videos out on the main channel as well. So go and check that out as well, people. Until then... We're out of here. Adios.